Seem to be getting intermittent heavy rain and blustery winds and then periods of time where yeah, it's not no, really it just keeps going down. I guess I envisioned worse. Hope for better. We got somewhere in between. Well, let's do the next one. There is no next one. Actually. They're in their blocks. There's two 44 fives in here between Concord and Wall. It should be pretty close. Let's go, Jason! Let's go, Jason! Come on, Alan! Alan! All good through the first exchange zone. Looks like Pinkerton may have a lead. Hey! Hey! As we come into the finishing stretch, it appears Pinkerton is leading. They're going to take this 43, followed by Lowell, Exeter, and Merrimack. Next up on the track, girls 400. The girls four by a hundred, I mean girls 400, sorry. We've got four sections. First section has uh, Anna Bellotta of Nashua North, Megan Robido of Pinkerton, Emily Meyerson of Chelmsford, Leslie McGrath of Milford, Mia Bouchains of Chelmsford, Nicole Scare of Milford, Sophia Lunati of Sohegan, and Emma Vaserka of Ma Manchester Memorial. And I'm looking down into section four, Jimmy, and guess whose name I see in lane four? Devaney. Grace Devaney. She won't be touched. She <laughs> won't be touched. Actually, that wasn't a bad mile, though. They ran 425. Right. It's just the way they went out, you know? Yep. Plus, plus, when we're looking at the clock, too, we have to add a little time we do, on yeah. because we it is a full a mile. Couple seconds. Right. A couple seconds slow, and they're not really a couple seconds so slow. Yeah. I think they're having a little bit of an issue between the timing for clerking and the timing for running because right now there is nobody even close to being ready to be on the track. I wonder if these ladies know that I gotta make dinner later on. What do you think? Probably not, huh? Actually I'm thawing soup, so shouldn't be as bad. Yeah. So we'll get I don't see anybody nope. ready. I don't see anybody. Oh, Looking across the track, that's Mr. Gagnon over there, isn't it? <sighs> yep, it is. I thought we see him around. There's a few of those Gagnons around. Maybe all the girls are, are, are getting their hip numbers and decide not to come out from underneath the tent. Protesting. Trying to stay dry. The only problem, if you wanted to wait, try to wait this one out, it sounds like you have to wait till about next Wednesday. Right. On and off rain forever. On and off rain. I know we were hoping to get away and do a little camping and rock climbing and I don't really see that happening. No. Even if, even if Even if we were to get out, like, the rock's not going to be dry. No. Nothing worse than slimy rocks. Oh, <laughs> well, maybe, maybe digging slimy ferns out of a slimy swamp. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's killing me too. <laughs> All right, now we're getting some action on the track. From our position, uh, videotaping this 400 is going to be pretty tough, so we'll probably just be getting Lane one start and pick them up at the. Picking them up. 
picking him up at the straightaway. Not that's the wrong. Well, not only that, Pinkerton has it on the wrong hip. I thought, no. The camera's on that side. Yeah, so you got three of them not putting them on the right hips. All right, now we've got to set on the track. Bob's got his gun out. Get ready to start this one. There we go. Running papers for me today. I got my daughter Victoria. Victoria, you raced in the 400 for the first time in high school the other day. How was that? Um, it was pretty good. Um, A little short for you? Yeah. Um, it was rough, but um, having a couple girls ahead of me and having my eye on them all the time is a pretty good target. So. Yeah. That's kind of the fun part is when you you can see them and yeah. you can work on them. I think also that in, when you're a distance runner, you're in a 400, you're pretty good. Just arms and legs, arms yep. and legs the whole time. Then right. you have somebody that's good at it just slip by you. Like, right. what the? They're not working nearly as hard as I'm working. They're getting further. All right, as we're coming into the finishing stretch. We've got Chelmsford's. Emily Meyerson taking that one. Looks like about 66. You got this. So the first heat. Second heat, they're getting them lined up now. Uh, we've got Daniela Emilda from Lowell, Mia Brown from Keene, Tessa Rogers of Winnicunit, Hannah Frazier of Pinkerton, Jaden Smith of Nashua North, Emma Herrero of Sauhegan, and Elizabeth McFarland of Exeter. Daniela Emilda! One's coming, one's coming! Right there, right there. No blocks, you ready to go. There we go, heat two underway. Looks like the rain's gonna stay for a little while. I'm pretty. I'm fully confident that the rain's gonna stay right up until I go to pack up. Yeah. <laughs> Five minutes down the road is when it's gonna let up. The sun will come out. Results of the boys' four by one hundred have Nashua North with the winning it in forty six four five. Also, the winner of the boys' discus throw is Jared Dyer of Merrimack with a throw of 128 feet on the nose. I'm always amazed that they ever get any of those on the nose. Like, how does that happen? I know, huh? It's like when you go to the grocery store and you, 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 your bill's like $36 even or something. Like, how does that happen? All right. Looks like we've got uh, Tess Rogers of Winnicunit taking that one. Followed by Elizabeth McFarland of Exeter and Daniela Amelia Mildia of Lowell. Section three, we've got Haley Blaisdell of Winnicunit, Leah Vasquez of Salem, Meg Sawyer of Milford, Vanessa Norton of Nashua South, Angie Souza of Nashua South, Samantha LaPetri of Winnicunit, Amber Gagnon of Alvern, and 
Nadezhda Nadia Zacheva. Somebody's definitely putting my pronunciation skills to the yeah, test there. That's a tough one. It is. 400, 800. Don't know exactly. There we go. Section three underway. All right. They are just about coming off the curve. About to be obstructed by those two people standing in front of our camera. All right, and I can't tell at all. Looks like we've got Samantha LaPetri of Winnicunit in the lead. She's going to take that in about 102. Ladies. Section four is Sydney Lavelle of Exeter, Sarah pa Padellarano of Timberlane, Kamisha Lewis of Lowell, Grace Devaney of Concord, Autumn Aronofsky of Salem, Jordan Lamar of Lowell, Autumn Agri of Exeter, and Asia Mercer of Manchester Memorial. And uh, <clears throat> there's about an eight second difference between the fastest seed and the lowest seed here. Wow. Fortunately, we won't be able to watch this on video. Um, we're not gonna be able to watch this around on video, but I'm gonna be watching it with my eyes. <laughs> to the conquered distance runners and sprinters, are there, is, is there any intermingling there? As they far totally as different camps? No, no. Just in work? No. Oh, he's angry. Yeah. Oh, I'm just standing in the way of the starter. No big deal. Uh, Grace Devaney is, gets along with everybody. She's probably I'm the sure nicest she does, personality yeah. you, you can yeah. get asked for. I mean, they're obviously they don't too. do workouts yeah. together, but I didn't know if they're just even set up separate. Oh, yeah, they, they were all, they're all together. Yeah. That's great. She's off to Westland, High, uh, Westland College and to play soccer and run there. She's also a downhill skier, too. And there's three of them that have made up the stagger. She is just moving. Guys, guys. Oops. That was me kicking the camera. And 200 meters to go. Devaney's basically in the lead. It was her and Mercer on the outside even, but when they come off that turn, there's no way. That's even, and Devaney's into the straightaway. I think she's gonna be hauling some of these girls to a pretty good time, though. Yeah, she's tough. Because that's not eight second spread right there. Fifty-seven, fifty-nine. So Devaney takes that one going away for sure. But that was a good run by a lot of those other oh, ladies. Oh yeah, no, I mean, they did well. Get, it's good to have somebody that can do that. Pull them all along. Pull them all along. Yep. All right, we got the first section of the guys on the track. Colby Lynch of Londonderry, Zachary Booth of Londonderry, Tanner Thornton of Exeter, Mark Caswell of Salem, Nicholas Beal of Winnicunit, Alexander McGandy of Manchester Memorial, and Kenny Corsetti of Hollis Brookline. Kenny Corsetti. Kenny, that's, what, that's exactly what I was thinking. Dropping down, huh? We're We're dropping say. way down. Let's see, how, let's see he what he's like, got. He, he, two, uh, 
2017, he won the Belmont Invite for Cross, so it's a little bit shorter than that. Yeah. A little bit shorter than that. I do like watching the, the distance guys drop down. I remember watching, uh, I think it was, I think it was Corey Thorne on like the 600 indoor one yeah, time. He put out a 123 though, so I mean he's, he had real good speed. But just watching those guys, because when they, when they when they really go to kick down and it's just all arms and legs and they're just and you know Russell Brown could run with anybody. Russell Brown. He might have been the fastest yeah, of all. Way. He, he's probably the fastest of all distance runners that we've had, right? I would say. I would. I mean, if you're going to talk about range and stuff like that, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> My boy Valancourt, he's not happy when I tell him that he's not very fast. <laughs> and we're going to have, that was Mark Caswell from uh, Salem that took that heat. Do you need the boys or the girls? What the girls? That looked just painful for Kenny Corsetti, I don't know. <laughs> I think Maybe he's still... just working leg speed, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He got a 57. Definitely didn't have racing shoes on. No. But... <laughs> All right, section two, we got William D'Amico of Pinkerton, Owen Parker of Winniconnet, Max Olick Boley of Lowell, Kyle Ferullo of Alvern, Eric Carlo of Nashua South, Ryan O'Donnell of Exeter, Nathan Maloney of Hollis Brookline. It's funny because we, when we ran we four by eight last year, and we decided to do it late in the season that we were actually going to contest at the state championships for it. And we had the fast seed time going in, and we won. Um, but Landon did not like the fact that I kept telling him he was our slowest 800 meter guy because he was. Right. Um, and now he's right there with our top 800 meter guy for time. So. Oh, good. I mean, he's he's definitely a strength runner, but uh, I don't know. He's learning how to turn it into speed somehow. Yeah, if he can do that, that'll help him the long yeah. run for cross country. And oh yeah. You know, you know what's really going to help him for cross country is this past indoor season. And I know most people would say your indoor season. How does your indoor season help your outdoor season? Well, he trained. We we, we only have practice two days a week. Yeah. And unless there was a meet, he only trained two days a week. Huh. And he got beat right at the line by Andy O'Brien. Oh, yeah, that was... So and cool. I think it was right then and there he realized if he's actually going to do anything, he's going to have to train. train. And so that's, I mean, what better yeah. timing than during indoor to that realize... That was a gut wrench too, because he had a good lead on him, too. Well, and, and O'Brien just ripped him in. It's funny, too, because, uh, you know, he's relatively new to this whole thing, so he doesn't know how everything works. He was mad because he felt that he beat him. Yeah. Well, and, uh, he kind of slowed up at the finish. Yeah, right? he, he didn't, didn't run realize. through the finish. So that was uh, Owen Parker of Winnicott taking that heat. Yeah, he didn't realize that it's not the first part of your body across, it's your torso. Right. So up in section three, we've got Maxim Mercuriev of Nashua South, Aiden McDonald of Salem, Ryan McClure of Timberlane, Reed Langdevin of Exeter, Alexander Gibbeau of Pinkerton, Alan Martinez of Lowell, and Emmanuel Wapo of Lowell. So lessons learned. I actually, we went himself, Victoria and myself went down to BU a couple of times, not to race, but to watch. Right. Uh, there was a couple of good races down there where the Bowerman guys came out and uh, they ran 5K trying to get the 5k qualifier out of the way and the, the Bowerman ladies came out another time and that was interesting he had never really watched a big race in anything so he's to get he's, some ideas he, he, well, so he's definitely becoming a, a student a, of a little, it a little bit a little student of it yeah more. he used to know the numbers but didn't have any faces to put it with or anything like right. that now he's beginning to learn There goes section three. Looks like some fast boys and some good starts there. 
Beautiful rainy day. Beautiful rainy day. So this is section three. We've got one more section after that. And there goes the umbrella. Sir! Now we won't be catching this one. Looks like we've got uh, Exeter's Reed Langdevin taking that one. Final heat. <laughs> Look at the range of sense. Final heat. <laughs> Ryan Kenny of Manchester Memorial, Jackson Wilkes of Concord, Jordan Stone of Hollis Brookline, Devante McCoy Sofs of Alvern. Zach Miller, Manchester Memorial. Vladimir Junkman of North. Colin Miller of North. And Bryce Eckenrode of North. Pours, it stops. It pours, pours, it stops. I don't want anybody, we don't want anybody to stay dry. Everybody gets to get wet today. Last heat. Guys, can you move out of that lane? Back it up. Coming off the turn. The Galvern, right? Galvern in the lead here. There we go, there's your winner. Four, it looks like a 50 plus. Yeah, 50 points. It's not Did all right. bad considering the condition.